Thank you. Ms. Jay, can you please tell us what are the expectations for students coming into SJF for grade six? Well, uh, because it's just further along in their development, we expect quite a bit a more ownership, I would say. That's probably the word that probably encapsulates everything as best as it can. So we expect parent, kids to be able to communicate to their parents about their assignments, about due dates, um, about important events. Um, most of us are trying to get them to take that little bit of ownership in terms of communication with their parents. Um, it, have to, it is, after all, their schooling. Um, they're also going to have to be a lot more responsible in terms of their belongings because we will have lockers and if we don't have lockers then we have a binder system and students will have to go back and forth between classes or keep multiple things organized in a binder. I know that lots of kids in elementary school still use duotangs and, and we have a little different system here. Um, Kids will also have options often to deal with, and so it's not just your core classes, but then having to report and keep your option schedule organized. Um, we'll also have kids who will just need to take that little bit of an extra step in terms of organization of their materials um, and keeping your binders all set and ready to go, having some sort of agenda so you know when things are due. A lot of it falls more on the kids. So rather than elementary teachers providing blogs and saying this is when everything's due, we do that to a certain degree, but we expect children to really manage their own learning a little bit more. And um, we expect kids to walk in the door basically, you know, having spent time reading, um, knowing their math facts. There's just that little higher bit of expectations. Um, but you'll love it here. You'll absolutely love it here. We sure do. And we're excited to have you. Thank you.